talk about here is this TV series I've been watching at the moment on Netflix called Blue Eyes Samurai. I'm not too sure if anybody of you checked it out and stuff. And I know usually anime and animation stuff doesn't really, you know, it's a bit of a niche audience. It's kind of marmite. You're over in it or you're not in it. Uh, you're over into it, so you're not into it. So it's kind of one of those recommendations that might fall flat for a few people. But if you are looking for good storytelling, if you are looking for good character development, if you're looking for like a good, sharp, to the point, I think it's eight episode um, series. I really recommend you check it out. Some of the fight scenes in this um, anime, manga, animation, whatever you want to call it, is incredibly well done. Like it reminds me of like John Wick number one. I swear to God, in terms of how fun they are. I was rewinding mad segments of some of the fight scenes. They're incredibly gory, loads of blood. Um, I also like that the protagonist in this, the blue eyed samurai, gets injured quite often as well. Like it's not just a, like, oh, this person's running through brick walls and stuff. You see them absolutely getting battered and bruised and flung all over the place and stuff and have to kind of, you know, stitch themselves up, patch themselves up. I really like that for aspects of it. And in general, just to give you a synopsis, it follows this blue eyed samurai um, who is an outcast. Essentially, this person is a bastard. And I guess because because the person has been um was a vic was a circuit was a was a consequence of some you know white foreign guy coming into japan back in the day and essentially what it seems like is raping the mum and then obviously gave given birth to a mixed race baby and obviously with blue eyes and for some reason in that period of in time in japan if a kid had you know white features such as the eyes and different type of face and eye color shape eye color color sorry eye shape and stuff you'd get kind of teased you get ostracized you'd be look like as a devil so they basically ostracized and you know um the kid from when the kid was young and then when they grew up they kind of you know this you know had a lot of hatred in their heart because the mother died also because of the blue eyes stuff and all the malarkey and then basically the entire series follows the blue eyes samurai as they try to slowly kind of enact revenge on all the people that kind of you know did them wrong when they were growing up and it's a really amazing story i think so personally i really enjoyed it there's some interesting twists here and there that I won't really reveal that you're going to probably check out if you do end up watching it but honestly the fight scenes are so well worth it the fight scenes alone will make this series entirely worth it to check out it's a really fun fun show i've enjoyed every aspect of it and um i'm assuming there'll be a season two because it kind of ended on a bit of a cliffhanger um there was you know a bit of a cliffhanger i'm not gonna obviously reveal <laughs> spoil that but um if you're looking for something to watch again i recommend you check out blue eye samurai available now on the old netflix blue eye samurai available now on the old netflix another thing to mention which i just finished now actually the first season it's called scavengers rain um being a bit of a sci-fi nut myself i think one of the best depictions um obviously of uh of i think space travel and you know just the harsh realities of it and how destructive it can be and how you know difficult it can be on people and their relationships and whatever it may be i think in modern years have definitely been interstellar and then i'd say scavengers rain this animation did a really good job in terms of detailing just how you know miserable and difficult it would be of a situation if you ended up on a planet that was inhabited by all these crazy weird creatures that you weren't really used to all this amazing strange vegetation that you wouldn't don't know if it's going to be you know beneficial to you or if it's going to kill you it's an incredible 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 series so basically what it, what, what it features is there's a i think it's a scavenger ship basically that goes to different planets and scavengers essentially picks up scraps whatever it may be and then takes them to planets that basically need them and i guess one scavenger ship unfortunately crash lands on a planet that's that's kind of you know covered with all this vegetation and rainforest and these just weird creatures and shit and i guess it's a place where people don't really like to go because it's kind of you know the the environment is very unstable and unpredictable so they all crash land there and i think it's three different groups of people and they all have varying different um they all have varying successes in trying to get back to their emergency ship basically they can kind of fly out from and it kind of follows their journey and it's kind of gut-wrenching to be fair there's a really cool aspect of it where there's this like kind of like you know companion um robot that ends up being kind of sentient as they land there and ends up kind of morphing with the you know with the with the environment that they're in there's loads of stories about the interpersonal relationships of the people there and how difficult that was to maintain but i think it did a really good job in terms of just showing 
I think people like myself, especially who've got this, you know, um, I guess fantasized image of what it would be like if you terraform Mars or something, just how miserable it would be living on a planet or, you know, crash landing on a planet or trying to do anything in terms of space exploration and shit. So um, it kind of falls a little bit in the horror sort of realm, a little bit maybe thrillery type of thing. Um, it definitely will leave you feeling a little bit squeamish here and there, but I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really amazing series, really fun. And I really recommend to check it out if you haven't already. It's really, really, really interesting. Um, give it a look if you can. Give it a look if you can. Scavenger's Rain available now. I think I don't know where it was available. I think it might be HBO Max or something. But you know, I ended up watching it on some other not so legal sites and whatnot. You know how it is. 